In March of 2014, eight Wellspring representatives traveled to northern Ghana on a vision trip to witness the benefits of bringing clean water to communities throughout World Vision's comprehensive program of water, sanitation, and hygiene. World Vision is one of the largest providers of clean water in the developing world because their inclusive approach to eliminating poverty involves education, well drilling, sanitation, and hygiene. And with well maintenance, over a 10 to 15 year period, water continues to flow from World Vision wells long after they finally leave a community. Two deep well drilling rigs were part of the equipment used to bring clean water to this far northern region of Ghana called Bolgatanga. Each four-man crew works five straight weeks on the job, taking one week off before starting another five-week cycle. A new water testing lab has just been built, eliminating the long delays of sending collected water samples back to the United States. World Vision was extremely competent in all phases of their operation. Every community visit was very well organized, enabling us to see the many phases of eliminating extreme poverty. Building latrines and improving sanitation practices is another key part of the comprehensive approach World Vision uses in helping a community. But the most basic element needed is always clean water. Before a community receives a clean water well, their only source of water is the contaminated water from a river, a water hole near a river, or some type of crevice. Sadly, this is the same dirty water over 900 million people still use every single day in various parts of our world. Women walk up to five to six miles twice a day, even if the dirty water is in a location that is challenging to retrieve. The women of the community will work together to get access to it. We observed an active drilling site at one of the communities. World Vision had brought in the appropriate equipment and materials days earlier, so the drilling of the borehole had already begun. World Vision geologists and the drilling rig staff timed the entire process so that a successful well was completed when we were present. The village was excited as their lives would now be changed because of this new access to clean water. New drilling technology now enables drilling a borehole with only a two-man drilling team in certain locations where water is available at depths of 100 feet or less. Solar power wells are also used whenever the well pressure is sufficient and a heavy demand is present. But in most communities in northern Ghana, new well water becomes available simply by the use of a hand pump. The infrastructure of any completed well allows a special location for their animals to have access to this water, creating much healthier animals for the community to sell at market. Water is life was a message heard from these village people over and over again as they continually thanked us for providing them with clean water. The children are the most vulnerable in attempting to live with dirty water and benefit the most when clean water is available to them. Six communities were visited where they had received a clean water well within the last three years. The vitality of those children and their healthy smiles were clearly visible for all of us to see. These children were observant and engaged in all the events that occurred during our visit to their community. The last community we visited had access to only dirty water. These children were much fewer in number for a typical community. Even as we handed out small gifts to these children, they seemed so much more sedate than children benefiting from clean water. It was a stark reminder of the importance of the Wellspring mission in our world. Every community visit included a large gathering of adults and children in that community, always under a shade tree and always commencing with an opening prayer we would listen to their stories of what life was like before they received clean water and what has now changed because of a well. We also listened to the experiences of people who do not have access to clean water 
as one adult after another told their story of the hardships they deal with on a daily basis. When we asked how often would some type of illness be present in their home, a young man stood up and said, every three days. But they cling to the hope for better things to come. Wellspring donors, along with donors from other global organizations, play a very important role in that hope. Even though these people live in conditions we could only describe as very, very poor, their inner joy and peace within each of them was always on display. How they live with the enormous challenges they face every day is an inspiration to each of us who walked and talked with them for a week. As small gifts from us were handed out to the children, their overall excitement made it seem like it was Christmas. Communities that had received a well gave Wellspring visitors one of their most valuable gifts, a live guinea fowl, representing precious food for their families. Dancing was a part of every community visit, as villagers truly danced with joy. Music is a universal language, as they clapped and danced in showing us their appreciation of the biggest gift of all, clean water. 